Alright, hey guys, this is a um, video on the PCSX2, which is a PlayStation 2 emulator, for those of you that don't know. Um, this is free to download online. Uh, the only thing that's hard to do is get your BIOS off your PlayStation 2. Um, that took me a little while. Anyway, I'm going to show you how to boot a CD DVD first. So, this allows you to run any PlayStation 2 disc that you have off of your disk drive. What you want to do is go to Configuration, Plugin Settings, like I am right now. And um, make sure you select CDVD gigahertz and uh, hit configure and select your CD drive. And as I'm going to show you right here, hang on, I clicked on the wrong thing right there. Um, the drive is E, and that's what I just selected in CDDVD. Uh, make sure that you have the CDDVD on the PSCX2 set to plugin. Um, and then once you've configured your plugin, you can hit system and CDVD boot full. And uh, as long as your disk is in the drive, it'll start loading up your game. Um, right now it's loading up Sly Cooper 2. I'm going to show you guys a fix for cell shaded graphics, which is mostly apparent in this game. Um, specifically, because what happens is, is there's uh, these long colored lines on here. And uh, I'm going to show you how to get rid of those, because they really annoyed me the first time I tried it. Um, also, there's a couple of issues that I had with this at first. You might want to fiddle with the settings some. I know... Uh, changing it so that I had um, disabled frame limiting and uh, put on constant skipping where it draws one frame then skips two frames. It still looks fine, but um, it increases your graphical output so you can play games that normally you can't easier. Uh, it increases your frame rate quite a bit too. Those first two there, the VUs and the EE slash IOP, you don't really need to mess with. Um, speed hacks, you only need to mess with if you're still having lags. Um, there's three uh, hacks down there that you want to turn on and um, make sure that you put uh, don't put the cycling rate above um, 2 and the VU cycle rate above 2 as well uh, if they go any higher they'll start tearing the game quite a bit in almost every area uh, in the much larger areas though they'll start tearing alright and um, uh, even with the uh, 2's on it anyway so the uh, fix right now that I'm showing you is how to get rid of the cell shaded graphics um, glitch I've already turned it off um, so I'm going to turn it back on to show you guys here. What happens is, is you go to the plug-in settings for your disk, for your um, graphics card, and whenever it's uh, default set to DirectX 3D9 hardware, it does that, and then it's got the tearing and those screen lines, and you change it to software, hit OK, and it'll get rid of those um, nice uh, nasty little lines for you, uh, which is a huge help when you're playing the game. And then this last part is how to set up the controls for the game. These are the best controls as far as I can tell for Sly 2. Um, don't try using them with a the mouse, it doesn't work very well. I have tried. Also, um, some of the menus when you're in them, it will pause the game um, until you apply settings and exit the um, uh, thing. And then the game will resume automatically. Um, uh, basically, oh, another thing I found out is the frames per second. Um, and everything is listed at the top there, and um, your the GS is your graphics card, uh, as far as I can tell. And uh, I think it also, uh, if you turn on um, disable frame limiting uh, and a couple of other things, uh, no, I mean, if you put it on uh, hardware, uh, if you change hardware to software, which get rid of those lines, it will automatically adjust your um, screen size. So right now, mine is 512 by uh, 448, as you can see in the top left corner there. Um, so just remember that if you can stand the lines, then go ahead and keep it on because you can put any definition you want and force it in there. But um, otherwise, it'll just go to automatic, uh, the automatic version, whenever you put it on software. So that's the only drawback. But for me, it's not really a drawback at all because I need to turn it on that anyway to get the frame rate to go up. Because um, as I said before, uh, my graphics card sucks. So I'm glad I can run most of these games. And normally the game does not look this bad, but it just does right now. So sorry about that. Anyway, um, that's about it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. And um, hope you enjoyed and hope this helps.